Welcome to episode nine of the Automation Podcast brought to you by InsightsInAutomation.com. I'm Sean Tierney, your host, and on today's show, we'll be discussing transferring of software registration of Alan Bradley and Rockwell Software products. I've seen it happen many times where a contractor, a system integrator, or an OEM provides software on a project but fails to register it to the end user. Now, you wouldn't think that's a big deal, right? However, that end user is not going to receive any product notices if there's a problem with the software. And they also don't receive support on activation. So if their computer dies and they need to install the software on a new computer, they won't have activation support, so they won't be able to get their software running. Now, if you're an end user and you run into this, it's pretty easy to fix. Just call up the OEM or SI or contractor and ask them to transfer the software into your name. If you don't know who the OEM, SI, or contractor is, just call your local Rockwell office or Allen Bradley distributor and they can look up your serial number and they can give you the phone number or the email address to the people who originally purchased the software. Now, if you're on the other side, if you have that SI or that OEM and you need to transfer software to your end user, you can do that very easily using this website. I'll read it out to you. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash activate dot rockwellautomation.com again that's https colon forward slash forward slash activate a-c-t-i-v-a-t-e dot rockwellautomation.com once you open up that website you're going to see a link on the bottom left that says transfer software registration and that takes you to a web form which asks you for some really basic information first of all the serial number of the package Now, if you want to put multiple in there, you can just separate them by a comma. Who the software is currently registered to. Again, if you're not exactly sure, you can always call your local Rockwell office or your local Rockwell distributor, and they can look up that serial number and tell you where it's registered to. And then who you're transferring the software registration to, that would be your end user. Now, once you fill this whole form out and you've pressed send registration, it usually takes about a week for the software to change from the current company to the new company. So if you want to double check and see if it's finished, again, call your local Rockwell office, your local Rockwell distributor, or you can even contact tech support and ask them if the transfer has gone through and it's registered in the new customer's name now. If you get stuck at any point in the process, just call your local Rockwell or distributor office and they can help you in a number of different ways. They can give you a complete software listing for your site, They can help you change the name of the person the software is registered to if that person has left and been replaced. They can also help you with minor company and address changes, although major changes still have to go through this form we just talked about. Well, that's it. That's it for today's episode of the Automation Podcast. If you have any questions, comments, or corrections, please don't hesitate to share them with us by replying to this episode's blog post at theautomationpodcast.com, which you can also reach using our short URL link to tap.com tap stands for the automation podcast and you can always stay up to date with all the insights websites at insights and or by connecting with me on twitter facebook or linkedin where i'm known as mr sean tierney and that's mr m r sean s-h-a-w-n tierney t-i-e-r-n-e-y before we go let's take a look at what's coming up on our next podcast Tune in for episode 10 next week where we'll discuss what's new with insights and automation for 2014, as well as talk about our new video series, The Automation Minute. Well, that's it for episode 9 of The Automation Podcast. I'm your host, Sean Tierney, and until next time, peace.